Hey there everyone, this is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDryDocks.com and today I wanted to show you a fully set up MSD subdriver cylinder. Uh, this one is going to be particularly used in the ARC model 148th scale uh, German U-boat model. So there's a lot of you that has this. I just want to show you what a completely set up uh, and ready to go cylinder actually look like. And actually this is uh, more than anything else just showing the owner how I set this up and that everything is functioning when it's on its way out of my shop. So uh, I'm gonna switch the camera here and I'll show you what it looks like. Here is the uh, overall cylinder. Uh, we got a brand new battery in here. We have a remote switch unit, gas backup. We've got the pitch controller and the uh, BLM unit is hiding uh, on the inside face there. Lots of room inside. This is actually uh, uh, a really nice cylinder. So what we're going to do, uh, oh, I've already got the radio on. Look at that. So handy. So transmitter always goes on first. I've attached the remote switch uh, fob on the back there. I'm going to turn it on. You heard that startup sound. Those are the electronic speed controllers confirming that they powered up and that they are receiving signal from the transmitter. So uh, let's start with the uh, functions here. We've got the forward dive planes. Those are all hooked up. The other uh, servo is not hooked up. The gentleman had just one servo lead run through. So I'm assuming that's what he wants uh, to do. We've got our rudder output. Uh, we have our uh, throttle. Those are contra rotating. On the back of the unit, on channel six, on the on the back there, these buttons, we have the remote override for the automatic pitch controller, and that's all set up so you can see that moves as the cylinder tilts. Uh, and then we've got ballast, and uh, you can see uh, the pump, well maybe you can't see, the, the pump actually kicks on, there you go, when you push up on that back switch, and then it vents the tank in the other direction. Now it's important to note that when I hit surface, that uh, arm is not depressing that valve because I don't want to blow gas in here every time. Uh, that's really just for an emergency backup. But I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to simulate loss of signal by turning off the transmitter. And the servos are going to go a little crazy and the speed controller is going to go crazy. I programmed in a four second delay and a 10 second blow. So let's see what that looks like. One, two, three, four. That gets depressed blows the ballast, comes back up to the surface, signal is regained, turn the transmitter back on, and we're back in operational condition. So uh, that's it. Everything is all ready to go. Uh, ran the transmitter, or sorry, the receiver antenna out this uh, hose, this latex hose, so that uh, you can stretch it along the hull and get maximum reception. And also you can blow into the end to test for leaks. Um, I am going to make a note here. This is a latex hose. I, I used it because it's a really nice diameter for this. Um, never use latex and copper or brass. Um, it kind of liquefies the rubber. So this has got a actually an aluminum sleeve there and a stainless cap. So just a little note, a little hint for anybody who uh, is looking to use latex uh, in their plumbing. So there you go. Uh, fully set up and operational and trimmed and tested uh, MSD watertight cylinder. Uh, I hope this helped you. Uh, maybe you found it a little interesting. By all means, if it's uh, cool, subscribe. Got lots of cool stuff going on. Uh, as always, thank you for joining me. My name is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDryDocs.com. Catch you next time.